Luke and Lucy and this is our pet peeve video number one <laughs> when people don't give you any petrol money thank you for the lift you're welcome my door's locked yes well <clears throat> petrol's so expensive these days oh sorry how rude of me I thought so there you go MP. What an insult. Can you open my door? I've got to go. No. <sighs> Nowadays, petrol is £1.36.9 a litre. People expect you to take them everywhere to the moon and back and they don't give you a penny towards it. They'll never understand if they don't drive. Number two. When people eat with their mouths open. Lucy. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> you know what? That is so rude. <laughs> um, oh. Some people have no manners. If I can eat with my mouth shut, why can't others? Well, you don't want food spraying everywhere, do you? Number three. When people leave one slice of bread in the bag. That was lovely. Um, I'm finished with the, with the bread now, Lucy. You can make what you want. One piece of bread. Again. What am I supposed to make with one piece of bread? I can't make a sandwich. I can't make a toasty. Nothing. Oh, for God's sake. How is it even possible to have one piece? What did they do? Have three pieces of bread for a sandwich? There's an even number of slices of bread in the bag. Have two or four. Simple. What if you don't like the noggin? Tough. Put it in the bin. <laughs> Feed it to the ducks. <laughs> Toast it. Anything. <laughs> Give it to a tramp. <laughs> Numero cuatro. When people take a slurp of your drink without asking. Guilty. Oh, can I just have a... Oh, thanks. It's a beautiful drink. <clears throat> oh, that's better. What? You know what? She does this all the time. We went out for an Indian once, had some food. Lucy tried it and she went, oh, let's do it. Can I just have some of <laughs> Drank all of my Coke, the whole glass of Coke. And then there was time, oh, we had some cheesy garlic bread. Oh, can I just have some of your, mmm, thank you. <laughs> That's really nice. Help yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I will, don't worry. <laughs> Number five. I hate when people abbreviate words when you're talking to someone. Oh, so F-F-S. Oh my God, did you hear about that boy that fell down the well the other day? OMG, WTF. LOL, I've so got to go and BBM Jordan about this. <laughs> TTYL. What did he say? <clears throat> did you um, text Jordan then? CBA. People are so lazy, it doesn't take that long to say the whole phrase. If you're going to abbreviate something, you have to think about every single letter. Why not just say it? Just pure laziness. We're not texting, we're talking. TYVM. <sighs> <laughs> Number six. When people leave you no loo roll. Then you get caught short. <clears throat> oh, for God's sake. Lucy! Why can't people replace the toilet roll when they're finished? Is it that hard? Do they not think someone else in the house is going to go to the toilet? Number seven. When people always have to have things their way, my way or the highway. Oh, hi Luke. Do you fancy going for a meal on Friday? Yeah, I suppose so. Where would you feel like going? Well, I was thinking maybe we could go needle and all, you know, cheap and cheerful. Oh, the needle and all? I don't like it there. The wallpaper gives me a headache. Um, well, how about Ock and Doe? The Ock and Doe? The chairs are so uncomfortable, they hurt my back. Oh, oh fine. Well, how about the Priory? The Priory? <laughs> Please, that is for skanks. 
Oh fine, we'll just go to the Ritz then, shall we? There's no pleasing some people. Oh. Some people really do need to learn to put other people first every now and then. <clears throat> Lou, could you just pop this in the bin for me, seeing as you're closest? Oh, I'm not touching your skanky rubbish. Who do you oh, think I am? Just oh, you're disgusting. Number eight. When all people want is attention and sympathy. All the time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. I went to the club last night and everybody wanted a piece of this. Oh, Luke! Oh, my goldfish just died! <laughs> Nobody will take me to the prom. I'm so ugly. I hate my life. <laughs> oh, I need to go on a diet. I'm so fat. Mm. Oh, milkshake. Why do people attention seek and just want sympathy? They just want people to say, oh, you're not fat or... Oh no, you're really pretty. You're not ugly. Mm. Everyone loves you, really. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's okay, babe. No, stop attention seeking. When you put it on Facebook and when you put it on Twitter, no, you just want people to comment and like it and go, oh no, don't worry, babe. No, I've had enough. Stop it. Nobody cares. Number nine. When people don't get the hint. So anyway, I went to the Wellingborough Town Centre the other day and you'll never guess who I've seen in there. I seen Jordan, and do you know what he was doing? Are you listening to me? Oh, yeah, 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 sorry, sorry, what? What was I just saying? Um, you went to Edinburgh. Yes, and I seen Jordan, yeah. and I seen Jordan, and he went into Pizza Hut again. He's always eating out that boy. He's going to get so fat one of these days, I tell you. All he ever does is eat, eat, eat. I seen him on Facebook the other day, and he, he keeps tagging himself. First he was at the Needle and All, then he was in there, then he was at the Priory, and I'm thinking, for God's sake, boy, you're going to run out of money. I mean, bloody... You know what, you look really tired. Oh, I'm so tired. It's been such a long day today, you know. Anyway, then I see Miranda as well and she was out with him and I'm thinking, God, you're both always out. I mean, they go to the gym as well, but if they're not careful, that food is just going to get on top of them, you know. <sighs> I just don't know what to suggest to them. I think they need another job or something. Or maybe go, go and eat at a salad bar or something. That's just going to get out of hand, isn't it? For God's sake, I'll come around here and you're not even listening to me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What is wrong? You know I'm what? Just I'm just gonna go. They really need to learn to get a hint, don't they? It's just so annoying. How dumb can you be? How, how honestly, so it's so simple. <clears throat> anyway, um, I'm actually really hungry. Hmm. It's lunchtime, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah. Um. I think I'm gonna grab a KFC. Number 10. When people sing the wrong lyrics to a song. And there was a little loner, he couldn't dance, hey, he couldn't dance, hey. And there was a little loner, he couldn't dance, he couldn't dance. Well, I just don't know why that he couldn't dance, 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 da, 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 Anyway, it's quite simple. If you don't know the lyrics, then don't sing it or learn it. Um, what have you been listening to lately, anyway? Oh, I'm really into that One Direction song, Kiss You. Oh, okay. How does that go? I don't think I've heard that. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, I just want to take you out to the club In your green bikini just bathing in the tub Baby, I'll come with you, I'll come with you We can go in the tub, scrub Then, na, na, na 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 na, scrub a dub. Na na na, yeah 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 yeah. And let me scrub you. That sounds like mysterious girl. Definitely don't know that one. So thanks for watching. That was our top ten pet peeves. Uh, if you're guilty of any of these, you're a bad person. Mm -mm. Get out. <laughs>